Hi, it's Juliet from My City Plans. In this video, I will show you what the scale issue looks like and tell you how to get rid of the scale infestation. As I mentioned in my previous videos about mealybugs and spider mites, bugs are very active during warm seasons. That is why it's so important to keep a close watch on all your plants. Infestation can be easily prevented by regularly cleaning your plant and planter with a moist paper towel. While you're cleaning your plant, you can closely examine both sides of the leaves, stems and topsoil. I would recommend to establish weekly cleaning routine. If it's not possible, if you're too busy, plants must be cleaned at least once every two weeks. Neem oil is a repellent and is a great product to use during warm seasons to keep the bugs away. You just have to shake the solution well and lightly spray both sides of the leaves, stems and topsoil once every 10 to 14 days. Light to moderate infestation can be easily treated. Heavy infestation is very hard to control and very hard to treat. I would recommend discarding heavily infested plant in order to protect all other plants in your space. So what does scale look like? They're small, flat, oval-shaped insects with tend to dark color shell-like covering. They attach themselves to the leaves and stems and feed on the plant's sap. The sticky residue sometimes is present on leaves and stems and planter edge. So if you do see the residue, this can be the first sign that your plant is under scale attack. Leaves that are severely damaged by the bug attack should be removed. As you can see, the leaf here is already very discolored and I'm just simply going to cut it out. And you should remove the leaf and cut it as close to the beginning of the leaf stem as possible. Let me see if there is another leaf here. Yeah, this leaf right here, you see how yellowing and pale it is? And it has all the bugs underneath it. Once again, at the beginning of the stem, I'll just simply will cut it out. So now let's talk about the treatment. The first thing we have to do is to isolate the infested plant and put it as far away as possible from the rest of the plant. Right away, check all the plants that were close by to the sick plant to make sure that there is no signs of infestation and check them weekly. As I mentioned earlier, that's a great preventative measure. So you can start using neem oil on the plants that were close by to the sick plant. Shake it well and lightly spray both sides of the leaves, stems and soil once every 10 to 14 days until the sick plant is free of scale issue. So here is what you need for the treatment. A pair of gloves, some kind of dish or bowl, I'm using the watery can to make the solution, 70% rubbing alcohol, spray bottle, paper towels, cotton balls and swabs and a measuring uh, cup, mild dish soap, teaspoon, and chopsticks to make the solution. There are just two steps to the treatment process. First step is to clean the plant and remove all visible scale. Step two is to apply a special solution to kill eggs and keep the plant free of returning infestation. Don't forget to cover the surface on which you're treating the plant to avoid damage to your furniture and floors. All right, now I'm putting on my gloves and I am ready to do the step one of the treatment. I'm only going to need rubbing alcohol, cotton balls and swab and a paper towel for the cleaning step. I'm using cotton ball dipped in alcohol to remove the scale where I see it. And again, guys, don't forget they are living on top of the leaf and under as well. So you can come closer so I can show you. Keep in mind that some scale are holding to the leaf really, really tight and they are really hard to remove. So you might need to apply a force. See, they're all right here. And the alcohol burns them right away. And then on the other side of the leaf. And again, if some of them are not removable, just use your nail to really, really scrap it off the leaf. Now the leaf is clean.
the cotton swabs dipping in alcohol because this I'm going to use to remove the scale from crevices and cracks where I cannot reach with cotton ball. So if you see any scale somewhere all the way down there in some of those gaps and cracks, just remove them with a cotton swab. Yeah, I got them. Using paper towel and again a little bit of alcohol, we need to clean the planter edge because some eggs and that sticky residue that I mentioned earlier can be here. So we want to make sure that the planter is clean of insects, eggs. Yep, so the cleaning process is simple and it's done. Now we're going to move to the step two. For the second step of the treatment, we, may, we have to make a special solution of alcohol and dish soap mixed in water. We will need one cup of rubbing alcohol. This measuring cup I have here is three fourths. So we'll need to add a little more to make sure it's full cup. Putting it in the water. I already have 30 ounces of water in this watering can. Then we will need one and a half teaspoons of mild dish soap. This would be one, oops, and a half. All right. I'm going to use the chopsticks to mix it all up. And this solution will go into the spray bottle. All right, this will be enough, I think, for me to show you how to apply the solution. Okay, let me get this all out of the way. We don't need this. I'm just going to keep the paper towel. All right, so it is important to spray your plant heavily everywhere. We really, really need to soak the plant in this solution. Let me just shake it well and go at it. As you can see, it really needs, the solution needs to really like drip down the leaves. really 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 cover the whole plant don't forget to get in all these gaps and crevices take your time don't rush make sure you cover everything we need to apply this solution so we can kill eggs and also keep the plant free of returning infestation. You can spray the topsoil as well, but do not spray the topsoil too heavily, just lightly, but all the leaves and stems definitely like really, really go for it. Now you can understand why I told you guys to cover the surface because you see how much dripping is happening here. All right, so you got the idea and you let the plan dry. You have to repeat both steps of the treatment once a week until the issue is gone, armor or not this scale will not survive your persistence. I hope you find this video helpful. Remember to always wash your hands and tools that you use when you work on a sick plant before you touch any other plants. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any important information that will help you to keep your plants healthy and happy. Take care of yourself. 
take care of your plants and don't forget people people make plants happy thank you for watching and have a great day